possibly lose my husband to go back to college, is it worth the loss? So I'm in a difficult situation. I just graduated with an associates. My husband, who is very anti-education, expressed total relief I was done. He expressed his views to me and vented. I was a bit saddened he didn't share the joyous views likes my parents who showered me with love and support. I got a 3.8 GPA which surprised everyone in my family. I had to study harder than most due to my autism. Now I have been in a crossroads to continue on. Part of me is thinking about containing for a bachelor's and it has grown. When I expressed my thoughts to my husband he was distasteful of the idea. He kept saying, well why did you choose that degree if it didn't yield anything, or, maybe you should have chosen the other one. It was hurtful to say the least. When I continued to express it he told me to call my aunt or mom and see what they say. I ended up calling my mother who said to me, if all honesty aside, you're already in that study mode. It would be hard to break that mode if you continued on this fall. But that decision is up to you. Your dad and I don't have a say but we tell you how smart you really are. But like I said, that's my opinion. Dot. When I told my husband he didn't confront me. He just ended up dropping it and didn't want to continue in that talk. When I mention anything he ends up just saying, yeah okay. And moves on to a different conversation. I hate confrontation and just don't continue in. There another side to this. We live in a rented home from a family friend that's is cheaper than most rents in apartments. When I mentioned one time about going back to school, he ended up saying, Okay so you're willing to compromise and get an apartment and possibly give up our dog. Tone in a happy voice I should add, I ended up just becoming depressed and dropping that conversation as well. I know if I do decide to back to college, there's a risk of losing him. I know I would have to move back home and I know my parents would take me back anytime but I'm constantly battling my heart and mind out over this to the point of panic attacks and anxiety. I want to go back to better myself but I know this is huge risk. I'm not sure what to do. Do I go back and possibly lose him or bite the bullet and just skip college altogether? TL. Doctor battling over going back to college and risk losing husband or going and lose him. Note. No I won't give up my dog either. I love my dog too much to ever give him up. I need to find a way to have him be ESA but I'm worried my anxiety depression and autism may make me unqualified for him to be one. Colon opening parenthesis dot. Edit. Husband is 25M and I'm 24F married for three years. Edit 2. Wow. I have read almost every single comment and I cannot thank everyone enough for all the advice, comments, stories and everything else in between. I took everything into heart and I even went out writing a pros and cons list once more. I've thought about it over the course of hours and put everything into perspective on college. I didn't take this lightly, it was not a quick decision and it took me looking over everything I have done to get to where I am today. Yes, I had a downturn in my life but I got through it even though it was painful and hard. I kept thinking about my mother's words replaying in my head saying how proud they are and how much support and love I had from them. I am very lucky to have such wonderful parents who love me unconditionally. Many of you pointed that out. I took a major step today and applied for the college I wanted to go to. It's a first starting step, I will have to wait out until I hear back from the college. The nice thing is the college is close to my family so a big plus one. It's not a difficult drive even where I'm at but it's somewhat closer. I took a couple comments about sitting down with my husband and speaking without yelling and listened to his concerns as well. I know many of you are on the train of go and let free. But I want to see how the conversation goes first before I make any final rash decisions on that point. Some have pointed out great tips for initiation this conversation. I need to be less passive and more in charge and I feel this is empowering to me. I have some points I written out he may say and I have thought of careful and straight pointed answers for these to maybe see if he can understand my POV. It's not an easy thing to do for many people to be in someone else's shoes. I am willing to hear his reasons if he is able to be serious with me. Any accusations, jokes or other forms of language issues will end that conversation and if continues, I know my next step. As my mother told me, I'm gonna take it day by day. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm taking it day by day. Okay, after discussing this with you a bit I read some of your history and I really want you to listen to me. Move to your parents' house and begin divorce proceedings on Friday. He has already been bankrupt and after that he lost $14,000 on dumb stock trades. And somehow he got you to buy into the idea that the money he lost in the stock market was his money and that you're responsible to clean for him and feed him. The guy is a total loser with no respect for you and no future. 
Please don't let him drag you down with him. I am so glad to see the update that you're going back to school. Yay. Also, your dog sounds like it would qualify as an emotional support animal. My therapist was able to write me a note for my cat. Just that simple if you have the right therapist. I'm glad you're going to take a direct approach with your husband, if you continually find you're not able to resolve issues or he doesn't support you in moving forward in life those are red flags of a bad partner. I hope things improve for you, if you're not sure about your partner maybe a little time alone to really think about how the relationship impacts you and makes you feel could be a good thing. I really think the college by default approach is destructive. A skills-based approach is much more practical like in Singapore and Germany where students are streamed into apprenticeship and trade schools as opposed to debt and Mickey Mouse degrees. The guy seems like a douchebag, I am anti him. I will forever regret that I didn't take my associates further. Your mother is right you are already in study mode. There are plenty of online classes you can take until it's time to get down to the nitty gritty for your last year. Your husband will change his tune when your earning potential hits a higher mark. Don't let a man dictate your potential. Never make yourself raggedy to be a part of a raggedy ass system. Where else will you be in two years? Miserable. That's where. I am so proud of you that you dealt with your autism and finished your double A. Incredible commitment must be rewarded. Raise your vernacular. Be an example for others with autism who need a role model like you. Hold your head eye and soar. It sounds like it's something that you really want to do. You did well with your associate's degree. It's definitely worth going for. Don't let your spouse hold you back from your dreams. It's great that your mom is on your side and is supportive of you. Definitely lean on her if you need to so you can further your education. I wish you the best. All your posts evolve around your unsupportive, manipulating, all-around negative husband. He seems to be the one with mental issues, not you. He's bringing you down in all ways and it's taking a toll on your life. You have so much potential and you're still young. Get out of it now, love. I just thought I'd add that there are online colleges so that might be an option for you so you don't have to move. I would also recommend asking your husband to join you in a therapy session to work out some of your differences. Holding on to your marriage is very important. Your husband is completely unsupportive, pulls you down and frankly, I wouldn't stay married to him a minute longer. He wants you to not succeed by his own values, and being anti-education in the 21st century is a bit outdated, no. Find someone who supports you and your education, drop the loser, and take your dog with you.